guys. All right, so I got a request here to uh, to show exactly how to re-grease um, trailer uh, axle bearings. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna re-grease them. We're gonna swap out the tires so that we have a unit that will be uh, road worthy. So these have been sitting here for about 10 years or so. Um, and essentially what we have to do here so we have to pop off the cap right here. So you put in a screwdriver, like a flat head, and then you pry it backwards and then it'll just come right off. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm pretty sure I have it to the point where I can put a hammer in now. Probably do the pry work. There. So we have the cap off now. And uh, if I focus properly, you guys should be able to see that there is a cotter pin right here. It's a cotter pin. So we need to get that off. So we just need some needle nose right here. And then we're gonna pry this back right here. And we're gonna attempt to pull this out now. Some camera. Okay guys, so we got the cotter pin out right here. I just uh, cut it uh, and then came back. Now we have our cap here, which was on there initially. We're just gonna keep the cotter pin in there so we know where everything is. Now we have uh, an inch and a half socket here that we're gonna pop on to, uh, to take this off and we have a breaker bar, so just leave that on there, boom, cam right off nicely, now we just spin this, should just come right off, okay, we're going to put that in the cap as well, and now we need a pick to get the washer out, there's a washer in here. There you go. Oh, it's really greased up. Like 10 years don't mean a, a thing here. It's freaking. But what we're gonna do is re-grease it just to make sure that we get it back on the haul home. Holy crap, is that ever greasy. Oh, it's just dank. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't like having dirty hands, don't do this, okay? Just saying. Holy smokes. Can't even, there we go. There we go. So there that is. And again, we're just gonna put it in the cap. Now, we actually have access to the bearing. So, again, we wanna pry it off with our pick here. There we go. So this is our bearing. It's just covered in stuff. There it is. All right. Now we're gonna put that back in the cap as well. And that's what the inside looks like. Okay. So we're gonna clean this up, re-grease it, and uh, clean this up, re-grease it as well. And then we're going to replace the tires. Recording? Okay. Okay guys, so now this is how we're gonna grease the bearing. So you can see here, it's pretty filthy. So we're just gonna wipe it down here. Pretty decently. Get as much of the old, gross grease out of there as possible. 
And then what we're going to do is uh, wipe off the washer and the nut. So we have the washer right here. Pretty gross. Again, wipe it down really good. There we go. We're going to re-grease that. And then we have the nut. So we're going to wipe that down. There we go. Okay. And we'll put these back in the cap like we did before. And now we're gonna grease this. So this requires a little bit of love. What you have to do is take some grease and put it in the palm of your hand. Like, like so. And then we wanna scrape it into these edges to the point where it's coming out the other side. So we're gonna scrape it, just like that. So you can see, so just around the edges. as much as we can to get it into those grooves. You want to cover those grooves in grease. You want to cover them really good. And then we, we need to take the grease from the inside and bring it back. Get it back into our hands here, into our palms. And then we're going to do the edges again. And just make sure to push it in there with your thumb. Make sure to just push it right in the grooves because you really want it in the grooves. Right, that's our main goal here. So we'll take it out again, put it in the palm of our hand, and then we're going to scrape again. So we get it all in there. And when we start to see it coming through the other side, and it's, and it's almost coming out. It's almost coming out the other side now. I'm going to get it into our palms again, and we're going to start scraping. Just like that, at this type of angle. It's gonna be a pretty messy job. There's no real way to avoid it. But if you wanna do it right, you really gotta get it in the grooves there. So now we have it all greased up. Put it in the palm of our hands. Okay. And now that we've done that, we're just gonna wipe off the excess groove, or I mean the excess grease in the interior there. Smooth off the edges. And then that's done. Any excess grease on the outside is gonna be inside um, the cap, so which is good. We want that grease on the outside and we want it on the inside, okay? Okay, so we're gonna wipe off the excess grease off the threads here. Then we're gonna put the bearing back in. You put it in this way, not this way, this way. So it goes back in. Just gonna push it in as far as she'll go. Okay, then we put in the washer, right there. The washer just goes snug right on there. And then we have the nut. The nut's gonna go on there and just compress everything and pull it all back together. Now, I need to get this here. Switch the load on it. Just tighten that on there. And make sure this is real snug. Pretty tight. And we just need to move it a little bit more and then we'll be able to get the cotter pin in. Almost there. 
And there we have it. Now we're gonna fit the cotter pin back in through the hole. Okay, if you have a little set of pliers here, you can just tack it back in. Okay, and now we're just gonna bend it outward so that it doesn't come out. So that's the last thing we want, right? I just like to bend it around a little bit more so that it doesn't go anywhere. All right, and there we have it. And then we can tap our cap back on here, just like this, and a few tacks here. Use your screwdriver, your flathead, and just hammer it back in around. And there you have it. On to the next few. After we get the next few done, then we can change out the tires. All right, guys. So now we're swapping out the tires, so we're just gonna take these off. Now we're just gonna set these down, take this off. Old, 10 year old tire situation. And have that sitting there. And we'll use what we got, because we're those regular guys. Get the dust off of there, and the cobwebs, and that hole. Shebang. We're gonna go over here, grab one of these nice brand new ones, and get a good footing here. So what I what I like to do when I do this is I put my feet down and they go under the tire and they hold the tire up, and then I put the bolts in. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't want to because you feel unsafe by putting your legs underneath. I get it. But we have jack stands and uh, a jack holding up this side. So if this ever falls, um, my legs will be fine. So I'm pretty confident in that. Anyways, so we have it here. Again, just use my legs to lift it up and center it. And then we put in the bolts. And these typically are a, a five bolt pattern. Um, and uh, 15 inch rims. The tires are 205 by 75. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now we can use the impact once again here. And we're just gonna do it in a star pattern. And then we can do the rest with the breaker bar. So we got two more tires to go, and I think she'll be ready to rock. 